The next wine we're speaking about is the 2017 vintage of our Dry Riesling, one of our benchmark wines every year and a really great encapsulation of what the year brought to us in the Finger Lakes. 2017 was a bit of a challenging year. Uh, crop size was up quite a bit, and then the growing season itself was quite cool. So we were looking at much, much higher acids than we'd um, you know, seen in some previous vintages. Uh, what we do at Red Newt to compensate for that, or in order to address that issue, is we are very brave in that we do extra hang time uh, in the vineyards. So what we'll do is we'll let the grapes sit out a little bit longer, let a little bit more of that ripeness come through, and a little bit more of those acids drop off. Uh, 2017 Dry Riesling was continuing uh, with the style that we'd done in the past where we were uh, doing uh, spontaneous fermentation and pretty much just a single tank fermentation as well uh, turns into the Dry Riesling. And it's not that we know which pick is going to be Dry Riesling off the bat, it's really what tank starts to show itself as wanting to become the Dry Riesling. With the 2017 vintage being a little bit higher acid, some of the other things that we do in the cellar really helped rein that in and, and showcase this Riesling the best that it could be. We cold soak the fruit when it comes in, crush it, and that lets some of the acid drop out as well as let some of the, the flavors that are naturally in the skins get released into the juice. And then the long lees contact we do uh, in the in tank after fermentation really helps kind of enrobe the acid as well. 